What is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing my makeup Christmas wish list. Now, I'm totally not making this video for my boyfriend who has not yet bought my Christmas present. I'm just kidding, but um, so basically the other day I went to Sephora and Ulta and I kind of just noted some things that I wouldn't mind getting under the Christmas tree this year. Now, I didn't actually ask people for this stuff. I'm really bad about making Christmas lists, but I did kind of note a few things that I thought would be nice. So I have them organized in two categories, higher end expensive and then affordable. So I'm going to start off with the expensive expensive side. So first, let's talk about some Visi Art items that I want. Visi Art is a very expensive brand, but they have some of the best shadows in the business. Now, if you are interested in picking up anything from Visi Art, I would suggest you pick it up from Muse Beauty Pro. They're a smaller company, but they are such a sweet, genuine company. I do have an affiliate link with them, but like I've literally purchased from this website without any sort of affiliation with them. I just think they're a really nice company that care about their customers so I always try to pick up Visi Art from Muse Beauty Pro specifically so there were a couple sets on there for their holiday sale that I thought would be interesting and that I would be interested in picking up so the first one is the Parisian eye set so it's a set where you get two of their pro palettes and then also an eye primer and a brush so the two palettes that I chose were the neutral mattes and editorial so that just said I am very interested in because I have the big Visi Art Pro palettes, but I don't have those smaller ones, and I think those would be really great for my makeup kit. So I have the neutral browns, which is really good because I do wedding makeup, and then the editorial one, which is like crazy rainbow colors. I just thought it would be nice to have. I don't know. I like to do crazy looks sometimes. So that's on my Christmas wish list. The other one is the Visi Art Brow Palette. Again, I want that for my makeup kit. I don't know. I just want it. So again, if you are interested in Visi Art, I would look into purchasing from Muse Beauty Pro, supporting a smaller company. My affiliate link is available to you if you want to use it. So if you would like to support my channel, that is an option. No pressure though. Okay, continuing on. Also, I want the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fussy. I have the original one really like it it is kind of similar to the original which is why i didn't run out to pick it up as soon as it came out but if somebody picked it up for me wouldn't be mad about it this one i haven't heard anybody really talking about but it's the becca skin love glow elixir this is pretty expensive it's like 48 dollars but it smells like honeydew i don't know i always like to swatch it it makes my hand feel super smooth and i am interested in trying it on my face don't know if it's worth the money so that's why it's on my wish list but i just like those smell of it like a lot next i have the fenty lip paint in unbutton i have all the other ones besides the black one because i don't need the black one but i kind of just wanted to complete my collection minus the black one i like the formula of it i like the packaging i like how they look displayed together so i just want that one to want it i don't need it next we have the bobby brown infrared palette now i do have the ultra violet palette and i love it and right now it's actually on sale for 29 dollars. and then since i'm vab rouge it's an extra 20 percent off so I actually might buy that for myself I did purchase it when it first released but it came in the mail broken and I returned it because they didn't have it in stock at the time that I returned it and I just never bothered picking it up again because I mean it really isn't that unique but I've felt this hole in my heart since I never got it <laughs> um, so it is on sale so this is actually a good time to get it I also want some more Pat McGrath lip liners I only own one shade and that is the shade contour and I am so obsessed with it I want so many other colors so they're really expensive for a lip liner but you know that's a good expensive stocking stuffer want more of those they're amazing okay so these guys you cannot get anymore they're like sold out but I still want to mention them because they are on my wish list eventually if not for Christmas I'll probably end up buying these for myself but these are by the brand melt cosmetics and their Gemini palette which is a beautiful greeny yellow autumn -y palette I love it I love those colors I think they're beautiful I'm really into green eyeshadow and then also their smoke sessions palette I feel like the smoke sessions and the Gemini palette they really complement each other very well I mean I'm not a smoker I'm not really into the theme by any means but I just I think the palette's really pretty like it has really nice colors in it okay and then also I have some things from more affordable companies but they're online companies so that's 
that's why I want them. Like, I didn't add any drugstore stuff that was very readily available to me. I did pick some things from more affordable websites that I just haven't had the opportunity to pick up. So, first is actually a specific brush. It is the Morphe Y4. It's a blush brush. It's like $10, I believe. It's from their Gold Series, and I love the brushes from their Gold Series collection. I think it's one of their best collections. Editor's note here, sorry for the interruption, but if anybody wants to get me the entire Gold Series brush set, you would also be my mans. Okay, back to the regular scheduled programming. Sorry for the interruption. It's just an angled blush brush. My mom has it and I'm obsessed with it and I want one for myself. So if somebody is making a Morphe order and you want to add the Y4 for me, please do. This one is sold out, but I just want to mention it because I want it. <laughs> the James Charles and Morphe brush set. I actually do have his eyeshadow palette now. I picked it up last month and I still haven't used it yet. I just, I've been so busy. I haven't gotten around to putting it on my face yet. But I want the brush set because it comes in the chubby tub and I love it and then it just has a bunch of awesome brushes that I know I will use and it has like duplicates which I think is a really smart idea because I have a lot of duplicates I need first of all I need to throw away some brushes in my brush collection because I have so many trashy disgusting ones but like the ones that I do love I do have repeats of them so I almost said you can never have too many brushes but you can but I want more. And to add more to that, I want the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush set. I love the glitter container that it comes in. That's a little bit more expensive, so I could do with just the eye kit or the face kit. If I get either of those, I'm a happy gal. I just think the collection is really pretty, but you know, if you want to ball out and get me the whole Jaclyn Hill brush set, I'm not going to complain about it. <laughs> also, I added the Morphe 39A palette. Now, Morphe eyeshadow palettes aren't my favorite, but they do come in handy sometimes I swear and I just never jumped on the bandwagon to the 39a and I feel like I'm missing out I see so many people using it and I do actually really like the colors in that so if somebody picked that up for me I wouldn't be too mad about it okay now this next one I really want this is the BH cosmetics desert oasis palette first of all Tati raves and raves about this palette and it's very affordable I just it's not in stores and I'm not about to place an order specifically for that palette I'm not about to pay shipping but I don't know it just looks really pretty and it's really affordable that's the kind of palette I would like to travel with because it is affordable like if it works good, great. I would bring it to me to travel. And if it breaks during travel, no big deal, you know? I don't know. It's, I just heard so many good things about it that I've just... I've been waiting for it to come to my Ulta and it hasn't. So... Also, from ColourPop, a few eyeshadow palettes that I've been eyeing. One is the Fame and Fortune set. I just think it looks really cool. There's like a cool tone palette and then another palette. And I really like ColourPop eyeshadows. I actually have been thinking about doing one of my ranking videos. Like ranking the ColourPop eyeshadows from least to most favorites. The ones that I have. So I've been liking those and also yesterday at Ulta I was looking on the website so I could link them for you guys and I couldn't find them. If you can get your hands on these like the Rendezvous palette and the Sweet Nothings palette. I saw them in store. They were gorgeous. One was more purpley and the other one had like blues and more colors in it. Really I actually really want those two but I couldn't find them online. Actually, you might be able to get them from Ulta Online. I will double check on that. I will link them if you can get them. But I really, more than the Fame and Fortune set, I really want the Rendezvous and the Sweet Nothing palettes. ColourPop has the best eyeshadow palettes. They're like $16 each and they're super... I love their eyeshadow palettes. I never talk about them on my channel, but I love ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. I love ColourPop in general, though. Like, if somebody were to get me anything from the ColourPop website, I'd be, I'd be so ecstatic about it. Because I love ColourPop. So anything ColourPop, I would be so happy about. I like, like I want to try their lip liners. I swear I can never have too many super shock shadows, the highlight palettes, blushes, anything from the ColourPop website. I'd be so down with. I love ColourPop. So yeah, that's everything that's on my Christmas wish list. There's definitely a lot more that I want that I just couldn't think of. This was just through me scrolling online and just some things that have been in the back of my mind for the past few months and yeah anyways thought this would be a fun Christmassy video to do let me know what is on your Christmas wish list down below and I will see you guys in the next video bye have a great day